has arrived. You can see I have anti-seize lubricant right here. It's going right on, and we're gonna try this again. Okay, we have our new tool installed. It is lubricated. Let's see if things go better. So much Yeah, you should put on your head protection. Hey Warren, should we take the door off? I think we can take our hearing protection off. Okay, we're gonna take the door off. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I cannot hang this on the wall until this glass comes further down. The glass won't go down with the normal regulator because it's broken or cocked or something I'll have to figure out. And so I'm just gonna take it out of the door. This is enough to just, if it's stuck in there, this is enough to just hang it on the wall. So you can probably... Actually, it's not stuck. Oh, no, it's not? Uh -huh. Is it just free in there and it's going to hang on us? 
You might be a future engineer. What's that? That's what I do. Also, like, I figure out stuff that, um... You're a problem solver. Yeah? got this pin over here started the one out on the bottom okay. is out and uh, this one's gonna go a lot better I know it is
my drawers off. <laughs> Woo! Feels like an accomplishment. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm gonna get the rail out. To do that, I have to have access to the carriage nut on the bottom. And I can't get access to that until I get the exhaust pipe out, the muffler out. So, I'm gonna cut it out. Here we go. Let's see just how much junk is in here. Mm. Nasty. This is how a 1939 is supposed to work. No, it's not. 39 is up here, so you might need to get a whole new window pusher because, you know, remember this window, you can crank it and it actually goes out. Anyway, let's cut some wires, get this out. Get a whole new wiring harness, so do I care.
Alright, that is the 1937 dashboard taken out. If anybody needs a 1937 dash or instruments, let me know. Steering box off the frame and then we'll take the steering wheel rod okay, okay. out with it, get the pigment arm separated from the tie rod. I think that's what that's called. Tie rod. Might be this tie rod. Anyway, whatever. We're gonna take the pitman arm. I know that's a pitman arm. Take that that off. Much. That'll separate the steering box completely from the front axle, and we can take it out of the cab. And we're gonna take the wires off because because um we're gonna take this off, I think, and then. I think we're going to take the window wipers off and then the window, the front windows, right then? Right. And then I think we're going to take um, this, these two, these two wheels off, and then we're going to take this off. Yeah. These right. screws, these bolts are so greasy and coily that they're coming off easy. <laughs> yeah. They, a lot of times these, you look and see that these things are just nasty, uh, covered in oil, and like, well, and also, some rusting together. And also, um, these are very good doing this. Because if you have one, definitely screw it last. Because it is so good, but if you have a book and it says to not do it last, um, follow, okay? Well, if you don't, just watch the video and listen on your phone. Yeah, just watch the video. Well, it's learn with us. That would be the best thing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're definitely not experts. What? This is only our first car. It's not like our 30th or 20th. And we're also going to... And we're also going to take that thing off that my dad was right next to. That thing, right, Dad? What? That. This, uh -huh. this is a hood hinge. Yeah, that's what. It will what... come off eventually. Yeah, and we're gonna take this thing off. Yep. It's... Yeah, because so we can... What is this, boys? What is this called? Um... This is the frame. Oh, yes. This is what the body is mounted onto. And it, this won't be easy because all of these parts are like all, all hard to do because one of my dad's, he's, my dad's screwing a bolt, and, but, and he's taking a Well, I guess you guys aren't going to see the steering wheel. Well, see Raleigh standing where the engine goes. Are you our little engine? The engine that could. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be um we're also gonna take these wheels off with like um so we took the other wheel off and so now we're gonna like we're also gonna take this thing off um like in twelve days like. Right, Dad? You're using the word like a lot. But, Dad, also, we're going to take this off. We're going to take off. Eventually, because that's, yeah, it's got um, holes from more than acid of the battery rusted through it, or chewed through it. So, we need to get a new one of those, yeah. Okay, now, we're taking the cotter pin out of the Pikmin arm nut. Castellated nut. And now, it's, you know, so greasy that just come off on its own. I mean, it's probably supposed to be loose anyway so that the thing can actually rotate and the cotter pin holds it in place on the stud. And lots of grease, so sorry for the bump. Lots of grease to keep it rotating smoothly. I'll probably get the hammer on that. Or wedge. Oh. Maybe 
you just undo it and work it off. Let's see. I left the bottom bolt in here to support the steering box, you know, to try and make it easier on myself. But I don't know if that's the right way to go about it or not. Well, that was right to the fingernail, so of course it hurt real good, but it's working, so let's keep trying. Well, maybe it's working. I don't know. As far as it'll go. Other way. Okay, Raleigh is turning the steering wheel so we can get the Pikmin arm to move around that around that uh, junction. Let's see if it loosens it up a little bit. Keep going. Okay, stop. Let's see if we can get a little more turn on this. Oops. Nope. All right. I don't think that's working. All right. Thank you, Raleigh. Okay, the last thing I think we're gonna do for this video and is take the window out. Take the rear window out. That's right. The glass, a little trim piece here, and um, we'll call it good for this one, I think. All right. So you take that. So one. that means we're we're gonna be done forever. Not forever. So we're gonna. Fix it. Good job. I can do it by okay. myself. Okay, all right. Keep 
it in there. Keep it straight. I can get it out. Okay. I think you can use your fingers now. Oh, it's windy outside, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's the other one. Huh? Let me get that, that one. That one's a little tight. This is too small of a screwdriver. So we're going to have to get something else for that one. I think we just... Hang on to that chrome piece. I'm going to take this last one out. Wait, go pull. Push down. There we go. Does it come uh, off? No. Oh, it's still on one. Okay. Done. And this is a long one. Okay. And okay. So we took in the now, this off. So. Now we're done for the glass. So that's going to do it for this episode. The glass is still in. I got to get in here and, you know, wrench out all that rubber and everything. Uh, and, you know, I'll just do that as a, a bonus on the next one or something. But it's windy outside. Things are blowing around. I got to go rescue them. And it's dinner time. And I'm tired. And Warren is going to say his goodbyes. Bye. You got something to say? Your face isn't in there. You have to come back Bye. here. Okay, now they can definitely see you. Okay, well, you know, if you're enjoying all of this craziness, do please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Hit that little bell button so you get notified when the next uh, episode comes out. And uh, until then, take care.